وَأَقُولُوا فِي الْقُرْآنِ مَا جَاءَتْ بِهِ آيَاتُهُ فَهُوَ الْكَرِيمُ الْمُنْزَلُ وَأَقُولُوا قَالَ اللَّهُ جَلَّ جَلَالُهُ وَالْمُصْطَفَى الْهَادِي وَلَا أَتَأَوَّلُ Do the rights of parents apply to step-parents or those who adopt? Can the same be said for children who are adopted? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salama ala abdillahi wa rasulih nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Firstly, we need to be clear that the word adoption shouldn't mean changing a child's name or hiding their real parents from them. Islamically, it means to look after that child as a parent would until they reach the age of maturity and can manage by themselves. It's not the case that the same rulings apply to parents and foster parents. However, Islam strongly encourages to do good to those who did good to you. وَأَحْسِنْ كَمَا أَحْسَنَ اللَّهُ إِلَيْكَ For example, and be good to others as Allah was good to you. And the statement of Allah Azza wa Jal, هَلْ جَزَاءُ الْإِحْسَانِ إِلَّا الْإِحْسَانِ Is the reward for good anything but good and so on. And we know that the Prophet wasallam said about the one who does good for you, فَكَافِئُ be, you know, do, uh, do pay them back, give them back. So there's no doubt that someone who looked after you when you were small, as a parent would, that person is deserving of your kindness, that person is deserving of ihsan towards them, of excellence in the way you treat them, but ultimately they aren't your real parents, and so they can't be said to have the right of the parent in Islam. Instead, what we say is that they have the right of the foster parent, which is one of the highest rights because of the, the fact they've done so much good for you and so much kindness to you. But ultimately, it's your real parents that have the right of the parents and there isn't any anyone that can replace them in terms of those rights. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two-second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel. Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.